Let's practice mudras. Hi everyone, my name is Judy from Happy Holistics and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to be doing yoga with just our hands to promote calmness. So if you've ever gone to a yoga class or seen any pictures of yoga people, you might have seen us doing prayer hands or taking our index finger and thumbs together or simply making a hand motion like they do in Charlie's Angels. Simply put, these hand positions are called mudras and they're said to help benefit your physical and mental well-being by directing the flow of energy. Today I'm going to be covering three mudras to help promote calmness throughout your body. To be honest, I'm not even beginning to scratch the surface on this huge topic, so I have left a link below on how you can read more about mudras. Anjali Mudra To do Anjali Mudra, simply touch your hands together, connecting at the finger pads and leaving a little space in between your palms. This hand position is often used to begin and end a practice, and with good reason. It's a gesture for greeting, so think greeting a practice as well as a gesture to show gratitude. So think about thanking yourself for doing a yoga practice or being appreciative of the teacher, etc. This is a good mudra to select for meditation practices as it's said to reduce stress and quiet your mind. Kalasvara Mudra Start by creating a fist in each hand. Extend the thumbs and middle fingers and touch at the finger pads. For all the other fingers, the index, pinky, and ring fingers, these should be curled and touching their twins at the second phalanges or the first two joints. Kalasvara Mudra helps to calm the mind, slow your thoughts, and is said to help with introspection, so looking inward at ourselves, at our habits and whatnot, and perhaps even changing them for the better, for example in addictive behaviors. Pran Mudra Start with an open palm, bend the ring and pinky fingers to connect with the thumb. The index and middle fingers are extended but together. Either the thumb is touching the tips or the tops of the nails of the bent fingers. This hand position supports the root chakra, so making us feel safe and that we have a strong foundation. Quoting from the book, it has the effect of being as stabilizing and calming as a secure anchor. How long should you practice mudras? If you're just starting out, take a couple minutes of your day every day to practice mudras. The experts suggest to build on this and eventually do an hour each day. If this seems like a lot, you can break it up into four 15-minute sessions. And if that still seems like a lot, start by just doing mudras when you're waiting in line to pay for groceries or riding the bus. That's all I have for this week, so if you do enjoy watching videos on yoga, nutrition, and healthy living, please remember to hit that red button down below to subscribe to my channel so you never miss a single episode. I'll see you next week.